Today I am talking about hate and let me start with a disclaimer that these are my opinions and if you use them positively and you look at it as a lesson or knowledge impacting situation, your experience here in Ethiopia will likely be better than worse. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. For those who are new, my name is Damaris Jenga. I create travel and lifestyle videos and thank you so much for being here. And yeah, this is actually a different sort of my travel video that I always do. This is in response to someone's comment on things that I love and things that I hate about Ethiopia. And now because I know I have so many things to say about this thing to do with love and hate, I'm going to break down this video into two. So in this video, we're going to be talking about things that I hate about Ethiopia. And we're going to start right about now. As you know, I always get so much joy in being out there and exploring the world and like just sitting down and having a chat with you which I do enjoy anytime we do the live. And that is why I want to discuss the first point, which is the reason why I am seated down here in my enclosed wall so that I can express whatever I feel like without the fear of whoever might be listening. So the first thing that I actually hate about Ethiopia is the concept of safety and conflicts here in Ethiopia. So let me explain before I do that, please. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel if you have not. So there are three ways in which we can talk about safety. The first one is COVID. Let us get this pandemic out of the way so we can talk about the other safety. At least on the issue of COVID, I would say uh, there is not so much prevalence of COVID and no restrictions as such. So that I am grateful for. Of course, when it comes to COVID safety, all of us, let's remember to put on our masks and to keep social distance. Actually, talking about that. I have my mask here because after explaining this so this concept on safety, I'm going to step out so we can go on with the other factors. Now, the second, the second factor on safety and conflict is the fact that if you know for a long time, Ethiopia has had like this conflict situation going on in some areas here that are brought in relation to ethnic differences and that is a whole big topic that I'm not willing to go into but the part, the part that I actually don't like about safety in regards to the separation and differentiation and war and all that conflict that comes with it is the danger that you get to go through. Like, for example, there's someone who was telling me that I think I am safe in Addis Ababa, but there is still conflict, I don't know, from the ethnic group, from the Amhara. And please, I'm not trying to get into those, those details because it is something I do not actually like about Ethiopia. The other concept in relation to safety is uh, the safety of people in terms of my property, in terms of my gadgets, my equipment. So I've had, I've interacted with tourists and travelers who have visited Ethiopia and oh my God, can we just say that it could actually be a miracle that I still have my phone considering how much risk I take going out to film going to places i don't know anyone and they can notice i am a foreigner and everything so there are many scams i have a friend of mine who lost two phones within like three weeks and that i'm always feeling sorry for them another one just arrived like today the next morning their phone was snatched so let me tell you how mostly most phones are stolen they attempt to puke on you and your attention is drawn on whatever happened to that person in the process someone else is taking away your stuff so I am currently here in Awasa and I got to learn yesterday on how someone was telling me of how I need to take care of my phone, I need to take care of myself as I walk out there, that it gets worse to a point some people can can use devices, can use like weapons to harm you. So I know this is things that can happen not only in Ethiopia but even in other places, but definitely it is something I don't like. Also, don't be alarmed. Damari has been safe so far. So you too have the chances of being safe. So let's step out, hoping everything is going to be well as I continue sharing with you the other four things that I do not like or I hate about Ethiopia. So in relation to safety, you guys have witnessed me being scammed in my videos if you've been watching for a minute and it is not always a good feeling. You feel so bad being scammed. I know this is something that can happen anywhere, but another thing in relation to that that I don't like is how complicated politics here in Ethiopia can get. I also hate the fact that 
many people are very political and can engage in political discussions and at times people are not very well like informed and i've seen some of you guys coming even on my comment section it's fine express your opinion and your thoughts no problem but how i wish like our politics was doing better than it is right now so let's step out hoping we have our safety in order so this is something that i know you guys were expecting i was going to talk about when i'm talking about things i hate and i love about ethiopia so i'm coming from one hotel and i'm going to another because i am on a business of hunting and looking for internet because internet is not very strong here in ethiopia it has been a struggle but finally i am grateful that we've been able to find ways of hacking it out and we've been able to know how to go about it like for example i have now identified a hotel which is where i'm currently going as we continue doing this video where we are going to upload a video for you guys anyway if you don't need so much internet like uploading a video and just for your work that is easily found and the solution that is long term especially if you're in Addis about internet please just buy unlimited internet it will be a bit pricey but it will serve you okay but once you leave Addis the hassle continues of internet so let's go have some work in so when you finally come to hotels like this one and you can be able to borrow their voucher for you to upload a video I'm just like thank you Jesus thank you Jesus but there's so much limitations when it comes to internet here in Ethiopia. For example, this internet is only valid for 45 minutes. After that, I have to either request for another voucher. Some places I have to pay for another voucher. Some places you can't even get a free voucher in a hotel to get the Wi-Fi. And when I think about this, I am always fighting to compare myself with my situation back home. Because I'm in Ethiopia, you know? So oh, another thing that you don't like about Ethiopia is the language barrier. Okay, 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 before you come at me that this is their language, they were not colonized and all those details. Yes, yes, yes. But in some levels when you're stranded and also the worst case when people look at me and they think I am Habesha and they just talk to me in Amharic. Oh, I'm just so lost. Like at times it's funny, at times it's like frustrating, you know? But we have hacked it so far. Another part of the language that is not even funny is the fact that even things are written in Amharic and Amharic language is totally different. The alphabetics are different, pronunciation is different, everything is totally different. <sighs> so you might not just look at things, stare at things and you figure out whatever thing that place is saying. But I'm glad that I have also met other people and this is why you should watch the video on things that I love about Ethiopia so you can hear my good side about this place not only the things I dislike about language to save yourself the biggest hassle just learn some few words about Amharic that will help you maneuver through like greetings how to order food how to ask for the bill how to ask for a taxi I have done a whole video where I'm teaching people how to speak the little Amharic that you need anytime you come here in Ethiopia you can check it out in the description box or click up here so you might ask yourself what criteria did I use to come up with these things that I really hate about Ethiopia and I would say it's from experience and the things that I have gone through and I'm just like oh my god can we change this situation can the most the, the most like I'm, I'm just like disappointed that is what has made me define these things and that brings me to the last point because actually there ain't so many things that I hate about Ethiopia so this is not something that I hate it is just something that I'm always like why why now why you see how there are donkeys loitering around anywhere and like they are not valued here same case with donkeys but also with horses like you will find horses just walking around homeless ownerless just just there first time i saw that i was like oh my god this is a treasure please this is for expensive people they should be taken care of fed well and just relax waiting to do like these honorable situations but they have a burden so that's why anyway so there is a degree of technology not being fully utilized here in Ethiopia and I'll give you two instances there was this time I went to withdraw money from the bank and a bank tells me it is not operating for like I think 
I should come after two days. That was crazy. Like I've never had such a scenario. And the worst case about it is there is nothing like money transfer. So the only way is like through the SIM card. And even when we come to talk about telecommunication, there is only like one telecommunication company. So like it reduces the competitions and such things. So the improvement on that area in terms of technology is not like high. So this other one is on people. For example, there is ride, so at least you have an application to ask for a car, for a taxi, and then once you have been connected to the person, they could just use Google Map. That this person is like calling, where are you? I barely know the places, I barely know how to describe where I am. Please just use the Google Map. After I get inside the ride, they are like, where are you going? I have already located it on the Google Map. These scenarios, they always make me feel like, please. Please come on, you can do better. Anyway, I hope you like this video. I did not have so much fun shooting things I hate because I don't love focusing on negative things. Uh, I hope it gave you a perspective and I actually did this video because some of you guys requested I do and share my honest opinion. Otherwise, tomorrow or the next video or the video in the description box is going to be talking about the things that I love about Ethiopia, which are actually many and more. So stick around for that and I will see you in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, share and please subscribe if you like this video. Allow me to rant. There's this one thing that I really, really hate about Ethiopia. And the fact that they make me feel like I am begging or on my knees for me to just get internet. Data is not even loading. And then here yeah, it has to expire like after every 45 minutes. I'm like, wait, I come. My internet is expired. Now it's expired and I'm like, can you give me another one? And she's like, sorry, time out. I'm just like, what the fuck? <laughs> we move regardless. We move. So at least a rant like this one can help me to push on for the next a few minutes. <laughs>